Hi everybody, Christy here again with Make Every Day Colorful and what I'm going to cook today is actually something that I cook quite often with um, me and my kids. It usually ends up being kind of a brunch lunch because a lot of times by the time I eat breakfast, that's about what time it is. So with that being said, I'm going to start. This is about, I'm going to move you over just a little bit so that everybody can see what we're doing, okay? And, right? Okay. So, um, normally, I don't actually use sausage a lot of times. Sometimes I'll use just ham or whatever we have, but I have sausage today. So, I, what I have right now is a cup of chopped up bell peppers, a half a cup of onions, four cloves of garlic, and I have about six small radishes. And then I just got this, uh, like one of those little round... Uh, several cheeses. That's what I have. And then I got like a leaf of sausage I'm going to cut up. And then I got butter. A lot of times I'll use coconut oil, but I don't have any coconut oil right now. I ran out. I have to go get some at the store. So today I'm going to use butter. And for the butter, I'm probably going to use about, um, probably about three tablespoons of butter. And you're going to see, my kids like to, um, they have, they love to eat, let me see there, she's already grabbed for it. They love to eat the food that I'm cooking, so she likes onions and bell peppers, so um, I just usually give them a couple. So I'm going to just start, I guess, by cutting up my sausage. Normally, if you were cutting up vegetables, obviously, and then meat, you would do the meat glass so you wouldn't cross-contaminate, but I'm cooking all of it, so I'm not too worried about it. If I was just cutting up vegetables putting some aside for later, then yes, I would definitely cut the vegetables up first. So anyway, cutting up this length of sausage to cook. And I might, I'm going to actually put the sausage cooking first, so get this cut up. It's like a mozzarella cheese. Oh, awesome. Oh, wait, we're going to use that actually in the end as well. That's what we put on top of our food. So, I'm getting the sausage in my pot. I just have a cast iron pan. And I'm going to turn it on. So, now I've got that going. Maybe we're going to use the circle cheese at the end. I'm going to put it right here. Oh, and I forgot to say that I have three eggs. That's what I'm using to cook with three eggs. I'm going to hold one, but don't crack them, okay? Just hold it. Three eggs. Three eggs. Alright. Can I have them back to put them by the stove, please? No, we don't want to roll off. We already have one roll off this morning and break. So I'm putting those back by the stove. So, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up my radishes. Oh, you're not kidding. I know, but you too little. We don't want to have an accident. So I'm cutting up my six radishes. Six radishes. Six What color are those radishes? Um, six radishes. Well, there's four now and two here. How many, what color are these? Pink. They are kind of a pinkish tone, but they're more red, I would think. You see? I need to cut them up. So I'm going to turn down the fire a little bit on my sausage because I had it all the way on high. So I'm going to put it to about a medium heat. And while that's cooking, I'm just going to continue to cut up my radishes and thin slices because that's how I like them. All right, can I see another one, please? My assistant. Two radishes. Two radishes. Alright, let me see. Another one, please. Oh, this one. Another trick that I do is just to make this go fast and not have to cut up everything. A lot of times I'll buy uh, vegetables kind of in bulk. Like I bought 10 bell peppers when they're on sale. And I cut them up and put them in my freezer. So, like this morning, I just grabbed a cup full out of the bag of frozen bell peppers and then that way that's 
one last thing that I have to cut up, especially with kids, because, um, you know, how that can go too. They could start whining or anything, get impatient. Can I please have the last ride of command, my assistant, please? Um, yes, ma'am. I don't want to play something. I could give you another one to play with if you want, but this one's for the video. I want to play with one. You want to hold one just to hold? Uh, no. No? I just want to play Okay. okay. So, now I got my radishes cut up. Last thing I have to cut up is my garlic. So, I just kind of mince my garlic. Cut it in tiny little pieces. So, I'm just cutting it up in small little pieces. Uh, my third child is now joining us. So I try to cook a lot of this stuff and eat it because, I don't know, breakfast, I'm definitely not like a granola bar or cereal person. I would much rather have real food. I've always been that way. I want real food to eat. Plus, I'm trying to get my kids into, you know, I want them to eat real food too so they can grow up knowing, you know, to eat healthy and um, not be afraid of trying things, not be afraid of eating real food instead of pro tons of processed food. We all eat some processed food, but just trying to, um, you know, just keep them young. Me growing up, I don't think I really ate stuff like this for breakfast. We mostly had, you know, probably like cereal, pop tarts, little Debbie cakes. Or something, you know, whatever we had to do to get the day started because we had a lot going on at the beginning of the day. So I'm coming to take on my sauces now. Stirring it up. It's starting to brown a little bit, so I'm just going to throw the veggies in there and that way they can all cook at the same time. And I'm actually going to put the butter too. Yeah. So I have about a tablespoon of butter right here that I'm using that I already have. So I'm going to throw that in there and I'm going to get. Two tablespoons from here, so I need a new knife. A new knife. So here's my two tablespoons. I know, you want to try. Look, there's a little tea. Paste. Try it, buddy. And just in case you're wondering, because I touched the sausage and then touched the butter and handed it to me, it's smoked sausage. So it's actually not um, a green sausage, which would need to be cooked first before handling. So I'm not worried about them getting sick. So I'm just putting my butter in there. And then that way I can saute my vegetables easier. Some other things you could throw in here that are really good if you have it are spinach. Um, I mean, just really anything. It could be spinach or leafy greens of some sort. Um, you can cut up turnips and put it in here. There's a bunch of different things you can cut up to cook. So I'm throwing just all my veggies in there now. Get all that going. Stir it all up. And now I'm just going to let it cook for several minutes until it's all wilted and soft. Buddy. I'm going to get the camera so I can show you what it's starting to look like in the pot. So as of right now, this is what we have. It's just cooking on about a medium heat and just letting it brown and saute. And once all that's done, then I'm going to cook my eggs over easy so that I can eat it with that. So we're gonna let this cook a few minutes. Quick peek, quick peek at where we're at right now. This has been probably about four minutes or so. So it's still browning, still cooking. I'm gonna let it go a little while longer and then I'm gonna cook my eggs and serve it up. So now I'm at a point where I'm pretty satisfied with all with how all this looks. So it's probably been about another four minutes. So total cooking time really is probably maybe like ten minutes. 
um, you know, getting everything in the pot, stirring, sauteing. Because you just, I like mine soft. You might like yours more crunchy, but this is how I like mine. So now all I'm going to do is just scoop it in my bowl. And then I'm going to cook my egg. So just a bowl full of yummy goodness. is so good y'all I eat this a lot of days and you definitely don't have to have the meat do just the veggies um I would say it's probably not good to actually eat meat all the time I've grown up on meat but I'm and I'm definitely not against eating it obviously but I know that a high vegetarian diet is really good for you really healthy and I always try to say, let thy food be thy medicine, which I'm sure this sausage probably isn't the healthiest. So you're probably thinking like, uh, you're kind of contradicting yourself there for a second. But I don't always eat with the sausage, like I said. Sometimes I'll eat ham. Sometimes I won't have any meat in there at all. So just kind of get it all in the bowl. And then I'm going to get my eggs cooked next. And we're going to serve it up. And my kids love this stuff, so we normally end up sharing it. That's why I cook. A big, I say a big batch because I don't know if I could sit here and eat all this. That would be too much for me to eat in one sitting. I mean, I could probably cook this big of a batch and maybe eat it over a couple of days. Uh, you know, put my leftovers away. So, I'm almost done getting all of this out. Still trying to get some of it out. See, now my pot is nice and hot and nonstick. Um, I like these. I do not buy regular nonstick pots. You will not see me with a regular nonstick pot. I will. Use only cast iron, cast iron pots or like aluminum steel pots. I will not use just a regular nonstick pot. I don't like them at all. I don't cook good in them. The food still sticks to it. And then when the Teflon starts breaking, I just don't find that to be too safe when it starts like tearing at the bottom. I don't know, something about that. So anyway, so now my, my pan's nice and hot still. So it's a good bit of grease, but just to make sure that the eggs don't stick, I always put just like a little bit of cooking spray because I like doing my eggs over easy and I really don't like them to stick because I don't want them to break. I say over easy, it's more like over medium the way I do my eggs. But, oops, don't do that. Don't drop the whole egg in the pan. So that's one egg. You see it's already starting to um, turn. It's already starting to Get one at the bottom. Sometimes they cook. So I'm just doing three eggs. That way, me and my kids can share if they want to share with me. If not, well, then I just have more for later. Alright, so I let it cook a little bit at the bottom. And then I need to start to flip this one already, it looks like. Let me see. I want to flip it too soon because then it will all break before it. Oh, I guess I could let it go a little bit longer. Depending on how seasoned you like your food, um, you could throw a little bit of salt and pepper on the eggs and on the mix that we just did. Sometimes I'll do that, but I figure with the sausage, it's going to probably be kind of salty enough, so I didn't really add anything. But you mean, you just flavor it to taste, you know, season it to taste, however you like it. I know, this is not beautiful. This is probably <laughs> not my best work with these eggs. It's just trying to do it one-handed here, so... So I'm glad to cook. Oops, see, I broke one. Try not to do that, but I did. So my food is definitely not beautiful. You will not see beautiful food whenever I'm cooking. It's just food. So I'd say they're about done. So now I'm just going to take them out. Let me move the spoon out of the way. Taking my eggs out. Plop them right on top. Get the rest of this out as best I can. Ooh, it's just falling apart. I did not do good with these eggs today. I normally do so much better with eggs over medium. Just get the rest of it out then. Okay. It's still be good. All right. 
And then the last thing I do is I take that piece of cheese that I had from the beginning of the video and I just crumble it on top and it just tastes so good. Oh my goodness, it's so good. So yeah, just take my cheese and I just kind of cr crumble it. And that's it. Turn off my stove. My food is done. Like I said, it's nothing beautiful. Nothing to really admire. But it's good. And that's what the point of this is. Making good, yummy food. So, this is where we're at with it now. This is it. And it's so good, y'all. So good. I could seriously just... Mm. Eat this every day. I want cheese. I want cheese. Mm. cheese. Cheese. You want to taste? Here. Yes. No, that's it. With the pepper? No. The egg? Uh -huh. Egg. You want egg and radish? Egg. Here you go. See? My little kids love it. Love it. Yummy. So, if you're watching, um, just subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be putting more videos. Hopefully, they'll get better as we go. This is still my first few days, so just bear with me. They're a little bit rough. So, anyway, just I uh, hope you're enjoying watching, and this is just the real life of a real mom and her kids, and this is one of the things we eat. Y'all have a blessed day.